Have you ever wondered what makes the food from Chad so unique and delicious? Nestled in the heart of Africa, Chad is a culinary gem, its food a vibrant mosaic of flavors and textures. The Chadian cuisine, a rich tapestry woven with the threads of tradition and a dash of influence from its neighboring nations, is as diverse as it is delightful. From the Mediterranean influences in the north to the more tropical flavors in the south, Chad's cuisine is a gastronomic journey waiting to be embarked upon. Today we focus on a dish so delectable it's been described as heavenly. A dish so enticing our friend Yanis couldn't resist but polish off two pounds in one sitting. But what is this dish, you may ask? Hold on to your taste buds because we're about to embark on a culinary adventure like no other. Join us as we delve into the making of this heavenly dish that had our friend Yanis devouring two pounds in one sitting. The star of our culinary journey today is none other than the succulent and flavorful Chadian dish, Daraba. Now you might be wondering, what is Daraba? Well, Picture this, a rich, hearty stew brimming with the heady flavors of fresh vegetables and earthy legumes simmered to perfection in a thick, luscious gravy. That, my friends, is daraba, a dish so integral to Chadian cuisine, it's almost synonymous with it. Daraba is a vegetarian's delight, primarily composed of okra and spinach, punctuated with the nutty goodness of groundnuts. It's a timeless recipe, passed down through generations, and a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of Chadian cooks. Imagine taking simple, readily available ingredients and transforming them into a dish so flavorful it can make even the most dedicated carnivore's mouth water. That's the magic of Daraba. But it's not just about taste. Daraba is a powerhouse of nutrition. The okra and spinach provide a healthy dose of vitamins and minerals, while the groundnuts add a punch of protein. It's a dish that's not only pleasing to the palate, but also beneficial for the body. What makes Daraba truly special, however, is its versatility. Nearly every Chadian household has its own unique version of Daraba. Some add a hint of fiery chili for a spicy kick, while others might throw in a handful of sweet potatoes for a touch of natural sweetness. It's a dish that's as diverse as the people who cook it, each variation a reflection of the individual's personality and culinary prowess. Daraba is, without a doubt, a beloved staple in Chad. It's a dish that brings families together, a common thread that weaves through the fabric of Chadian society. It's the heartwarming aroma that fills Chadian homes during mealtimes, the comforting taste that evokes memories of family gatherings and childhood meals. It's more than just a dish. It's a symbol of Chadian culture and heritage. So what goes into the creation of this delectable dish? Let's find out. The beauty of Daraba lies in its simplicity and the richness of its ingredients. This Chadian dish, a staple of the local cuisine, is a delightful blend of fresh vegetables and herbs, cooked together in a delicious symphony that is both delightful to the palate and nourishing to the body. At the heart of Daraba, we have okra, a vegetable widely grown and consumed in Chad. Okra gives the stew its unique, slightly slimy texture, which might seem unusual at first, but is a key characteristic of this dish. Next, we have spinach, a leafy green that adds a beautiful color and an earthy flavor to the dish. Then we have aubergine, or eggplant if you will, a vegetable that adds a creamy texture and a subtle smoky flavor to our daraba. And of course, we cannot forget tomatoes. Fresh, ripe tomatoes that lend their sweet and tangy flavor to the stew. To spice up the dish, we have garlic and chili peppers. Garlic, with its pungent aroma and distinctive taste, is a must. Chili peppers, on the other hand, give the dish its heat. But don't worry, it's not about setting your mouth on fire. It's about adding a little kick to the stew. Now let's talk about the preparation. The process begins with the okra. It's washed, trimmed, and then finely chopped. The spinach is washed and chopped as well. The aubergine and tomatoes are cut into small pieces and the garlic and chili peppers are finely chopped. Once the chopping is done, it's time to cook. In a large pot, a generous amount of palm oil is heated over medium heat. The garlic and chili peppers are added first, sauteed until they release their aroma. Then the okra is added, followed by the aubergine and tomatoes. All the ingredients are stirred together and then the spinach is added. The stew is left to simmer slowly allowing the flavors to meld together. The key to a good daraba is patience. It's not a dish that can be rushed. The stew must be stirred occasionally to prevent it from sticking to the pot. 
but other than that, it's all about letting it cook slowly. Finally, when the vegetables are tender and the stew has thickened to the desired consistency, it's done. The result is a hearty, flavorful stew that is typically served with rice or couscous. With all the ingredients combined and cooked to perfection, the result is a dish that is as satisfying as it is nutritious. Daraba is a testament to the richness of Chadian cuisine, a dish that is simple in its preparation, yet complex in its flavors. It's a dish that is deeply ingrained in the culinary traditions of Chad, a dish that once tasted is never forgotten. Daraba is not just a dish. It is a reflection of Chadian culture and tradition. Now imagine yourself in Chad, amongst the hustle and bustle of a local market. You're drawn to a crowd gathered around a food stall. The aroma is intoxicating, and it's Daraba they're serving. You watch as folks, from the young to the old, enjoy their meal with gusto, scooping up mouthfuls with their hands from a shared bowl. This is not just a meal, it's a communal experience, a social ritual that transcends the act of eating. In Chad, Daraba isn't confined to the dinner table. It's the star of social gatherings and festivals. You'd find it at weddings where the bride and groom share a bowl, symbolizing unity and shared responsibility. It's there at harvest festivals, a nod to the land's bounty, and on quiet evenings, families gather around a bowl of Daraba, sharing stories and laughter under the starlit African sky. And speaking of stories, Daraba has its own folk tales. One popular tale tells of a mythical creature, the Kori, who could turn anything it touched into Daraba. The people loved Kori, not just for the food, but for the unity it brought. Every time it transformed something into Daraba, the villagers would gather, share the meal, and strengthen their bonds. While the Kori might be a myth, the unity and social harmony it symbolizes are very much a part of Chadian life, embodied in every bowl of Daraba. But it's not just about unity, it's also about survival. In a country often plagued by drought, Daraba, with its simple, hardy ingredients, is a testament to the resilience and resourcefulness of the Chadian people. It's a dish, born out of necessity, that has become a cherished part of their cultural identity. Through Daraba, we get a glimpse into the heart of Chadian culture, where food is a unifying thread that brings people together. From the bustling markets of N'Djamena to the quiet villages along the Chari River, Daraba is a beloved staple in Chad. This hearty stew, simmered to perfection, is more than just a meal. It's a testament to the rich culinary tradition of this vibrant land. Daraba is not just a product of its ingredients, but also of the love, skill, and dedication that go into its preparation. Let's take a moment to savor the memory of the key points about Daraba. It's a delightful mix of okra, spinach, and sorrel, enhanced with the earthy tones of crushed tomatoes and the subtle spice of chili peppers. The real magic, however, is in the preparation. The fresh ingredients are slowly simmered, allowing the flavors to meld together beautifully, the result is a dish that's as comforting as it is delicious, but Daraba is more than just a delightful blend of flavors and textures. It's a dish steeped in tradition, a culinary reflection of the Chadian culture. Its preparation is often a communal affair with family and friends coming together to share in the joy of cooking. This sense of community is as much a part of Daraba as the ingredients themselves. Every spoonful of this vibrant stew is an invitation to explore the rich culinary landscape of Chad. Whether you're a local enjoying a familiar favorite or a visitor experiencing Daraba for the first time, the dish never fails to impress. It's a favorite among locals and visitors alike for good reason. The beauty of Daraba lies in its simplicity, its authenticity and its ability to bring people together. It's a dish that's deeply rooted in the culture of Chad, a delicious symbol of its rich heritage. Next time you get a chance to taste Daraba, remember the tradition, the culture, and the love that goes into making this Chadian delicacy. As our friend Giannis would say, it truly is a taste of heaven.